Hey guys, Matt Bishop here. We are backstage at the Vans Warp Tour here in Camden, New Jersey. I'm here with Dave from We Came as Romans. How's it going? Dude, thanks for joining me. I greatly appreciate no it. No worries, man. How's the tour going? Uh, it's been awesome. Um, really busy, uh, but really, really fun. You know, we got the new record coming out, so we're just trying to do as much press, as many signings, you know, as much stuff we can throughout the day just to keep active and keep talking about it and keep them busy, you know? Let's go right at it, man. New rec. We're it's right here, July twenty third, right? Yep. Oh, you guys, it's like, dude, it's I it like right keeps there. me up at night, man. I'm like, oh, man. it's so ner it's so nerve wracking to release a record, but we've released uh, four tracks now from it, and um, the response has been like amazing. Even uh, um, a couple like different ones, like Tracing Back Roots, the title track is like probably the heaviest song we've ever done, and people were like stoked on that. And then Fade Away is like the lightest song I ever did, did. Like I'm doing clean vocals in it too, and Kyle, and it's all singing, and people are stoked on that. And then Hope and uh, Ghosts are kind of more like our uh, typical style. I mean, a little more mature, but people are stoked on those too. So, so far so good. Um, I think fans really enjoy seeing bands evolve though. Yeah. You know, like you, I think you got down fans, you know, that put out like the same sounding record kind of over and over, and it's yeah. like they're, it's their signature, and it's cool. But like when you guys are saying you're gonna expand and do some different stuff, I think that's really appreciated by the fans. Dude, the most amazing band that did that, I, like in my, like one of the most amazing is uh, Thrice. Mm -hmm. How they started off, they were a straight like punk hardcore band, and then by their last record, it, it sounded like a completely different band. You could still tell it was them, but what's cool, what's cool is they're like fans grew with them. You know what I mean? Like they still had a ton of fans when they were done too. Like. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. I, I I admire that in a band when they evolve and you know they can bring their fans with them. So that's kind of what we would like to do too. <laughs> Keep evolving. Absolutely. Hopefully people will follow us. Well, for the next couple days here, you guys are still technically touring off your last album. Yes. Um, wow. Understanding what we've grown to be. Yes. Yeah. I just had a total brain. Fart it's okay. There. But that record did very well commercially. It was 21 on the Billboard mm -hmm. Top 200. A lot of people are saying, you know, rock is kind of down right now and it's off the grid and, you know, they have their fans that come to the shows, but it's not, you know, popular. But here, you guys come out and crack almost the, well, the top 25 on Billboard, almost top 20. Um, dude, it's, you know, it's, it's funny, like, um, I kind of experienced that more, more so through my parents. Like, they'll talk to their friends and their friends are like, Oh, I've never heard of them. Like, do they uh, they play like bars on like the weekends, or like how many sets <laughs> no. do they play? And it's like, nah. like there's like a there is like a huge like underground scene. I mean, even if you look at like the Data Remember, who's like you know selling out like two thousand cap rooms and stuff, people haven't heard of them either, but they're still massive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like just because bands aren't getting like radio play and you know MTV isn't really around anymore either, just because they're not getting like that kind of stuff doesn't mean that they're not killing it and they're not a big band. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I, I, dude, I don't think rock is dead at all. There's this huge scene. Just it doesn't get radio play doesn't mean that it's out, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. It's like, I guess it's like a credit, it's a credit to you guys first, you know, because you're putting out great music and you play, play, like you're on Warp Tour, you guys tour relentlessly. And yeah. then it's a credit to the fans, man. They're growing out, they're buying the record. Yeah. And they hype it up. And then that's what lands it at that 21 spot. It's really nice to see that fans still buy records even though you know it is easy just to go online and steal stuff you mm -hmm. know what I mean it takes the same amount of time and whatever but I mean it's awesome that people just choose to buy the record because they support the band I mean so stoked for the guys in Sleeping With Sirens they just did what like 59,000 records first week or something yeah. ridiculous that's so uplifting to every single band on this tour that like oh my gosh like there's 60,000 people out there that went and bought their record like mm -hmm. that's incredible it's a good feeling what do you guys, I know it's tough to look ahead, you know, because we're like exactly halfway through right mm -hmm. now, right, today? But coming up after Warp Tour, where are we, where are we going? Where are we headed tour-wise? We're doing a bunch of stuff overseas in uh, Europe, UK, Philippines. Um, so that's going to be awesome because we love to travel. We love to play in crazy places. And then uh, we'll be back. Um, we usually do headliners um, whenever we come out with a new record. So. Can't go into too many details, but you know we're gonna keep God, touring. God, why? It's all the. I'm sorry. Get, we're gonna keep touring get and calling Equal Vision right now. <laughs> I'm calling them. Tell this is me. Ridiculous. <laughs> you know we don't stop. Honestly, mm -hmm. uh, we're we're a very busy um, band that likes to be on the road. You know, so we're not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Especially with the new record out. That's awesome, man. Yep. 
I got one more question for you. Yeah. What's up with this boat, man? Oh yeah, I love my, <laughs> my boat. I'm so glad this got bought up, brought up today. I love my boat. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen. I've I've heard mixed reviews though. I've heard that we might want to like trade it in for like a jet well, ski or a moped maybe. No. Uh, <laughs> I'll just trade it in for a better boat. Like, right. I, was, like I was saying, it's a uh, it's a Baja, but it's a ski boat. Baja is more famous for their offshore boats. Um, they only made ski boats for a couple years, so I mean it's good. It's good for water skiing, but I'm trying to get like the Cadillac of like water skiing, like a Mastercraft or a Malibu, right. or, you know, like. They're a lot more expensive, but they don't die, and they're like timeless. Like, dude, there's like a 76, 1976 Mastercraft online that's still worth five grand. Like, they just, they don't go down. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Gotta get one. We got to. We will. This Buy new some album, merch, guys. After this new album, <laughs> yeah, go to the merch booth because we're buying another boat. <laughs> and there's some people that aren't happy about it, but hey, you know what? I don't care. Just yeah. take me for a ride. My girlfriend's like, sell it, sell it. I'm like, no way. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. We came as Romans, ladies and gentlemen. We're halfway through Warp Tour. Still plenty of chances to catch them all summer long. New album is out July 23rd on Equal Vision Records, so be sure to grab a copy. I want to crack top 10 this time on Bill Warp. <sighs> Really hope. Let's man. do it's up to you guys. Make it happen. Let's please. do it. We came as Romans, then heading to Europe and then back here to the States for some headlining stuff. So keep up with the band online to find out all the details when they become available. Perfect. Rock on. <laughs>